Hello, sorry for the shitty text-to-speech voice I don't want you guys to have to put up with my shitty microphone. Or if you like my voice, leave a comment below. This video will discuss a failed concert tour that overpromised and severely underdelivered, and the outrage that came along with it. This tour had much potential, so why did it fail, and why did they randomly cancel events without notice to the fans or venues? I will try to explain as best as I can because there's a lot of theories as to why this tour failed before it even started. I bet you've never heard of this tour so we'll explain it real quick. The International Anime Music Festival was a concert tour that had concerts planned in North America and Europe, with a lot of destinations planned with Fubers and Vocaloid. It was going to be similar to Miku Expo with a projector screen and holograms performing on stage. The performers were Haim Hina, Kizuna Sinjeroid, Gumi, Lilips, and Marina Su. The tour was announced in late October of 2022 and would post on Twitter rarely usually retweeting venues that advertised their concert along with some clips of the performers doing short videos of their music. Even the official Gumi account was advertising. The tour was set to start early February and continue through Mexico and Europe and end mid-May, until strange things started happening the next year. Nobody knows for sure why but sometime early January 2023 they started cancelling events for no apparent reason without any notice to the fans or venues. This would continue throughout January until a Twitter user Takoyaki Donut started bringing this up and tried reaching out to the organizers with no luck. Gumi's Twitter would later respond to a tweet Takoyaki sent to them by reaching out to the organizers for a response. But even then the organizers wouldn't respond. They would continue to cancel more dates until they made a postponement announcement on Twitter and their website saying the tour will continue in Mexico. Even those dates were cancelled later on. At this point the fans are starting to wonder if the tour was ever going to happen and if Europe would have the same issues. Fans have started to speculate why they keep promising to do a tour one place and then cancel those dates. Some people only knew about the cancellations through emails from vendors about ticket refunds. Some people never got refunds until way later. European dates were now starting to get cancelled. Again nobody knew until the venue sent emails about refunds. After that people started to assume the tour would never happen at all. But why? Why did this tour really fail? What made them cancel every concert and didn't tell anyone? Why were they never transparent on the whole thing? Even some venues never knew why they canceled. To put it simply, their advertising was horrible. Nobody in the Vtuber and Vocaloid community knew this concert was happening. They only advertised through Twitter and YouTube. Some have said they only found out through rumors about it, thus leading to the second problem. Low ticket sales. They were never able to make enough sales to pay for equipment, fees, and other things to make the concert happen. The worst of all was horrible communication. They were never transparent on anything related to the cancellations. They never responded to any complaints. The person responsible for organizing the event was really silent on the whole thing. And they always gave the most vague responses when the pressure became too great. There are other dates planned, but everyone just lost hope that they will ever happen. There's a fan concert being held in Copenhagen, Denmark to try and make up for the cancellation. If anyone's interested, links will be below. So will this event ever happen? No. No it won't. With the lack of transparency, and the terrible advertising, I would assume this event will never happen anytime soon. Better to wait for the next Miku Expo, this fall or just go to Magical Mirai. Until then, it'll just be making another video or something I don't know.